We would like to welcome Manufacturing Talk Radio students who are with the New Jersey Institute of Technology. This is one of the top IT schools in the country. We've had a very long relationship with NJIT at Manufacturing Talk Radio. I think they were first introduced to us to, through Lou Weiss, who was uh, working with them, and Manufacturing Talk Radio has developed a nice relationship with them. I'd like to introduce them. I'll do their names as best as I can, although I've got some easy ones. Katrina Alexander is here. Uh, Anu Tiku is with us. Thank you. Sahil Molchandani is here. And Anket Mecca. Yeah. So those are our four students. I'm going to let them explain to our listeners what you're doing at NJIT individually, what you're working on. It's got to be some really cool stuff. And let's start with you, Katrina. What, what attracted you to NJIT and is it manufacturing? Actually, I go to NJIT for concrete engineering and construction and, and master's in engineering management. Oh, a master's in engineering management. Now, why, why, why concrete engineering? Because my ultimate goal in life is to be able to build hospitals and nursing homes. And at first I was doing the traditional doing education, but I'm like, why not do what I want to do and build it? So I got into construction, and that's how I got to there. Okay. That's, and are, are you familiar with pre-stressed concrete yes. then? Yes. Pre-stressed. I did a paper on that when I was 12 years old. So you smart did they have, <laughs> did they have concrete when you were 12 <laughs> years old? Pre-stressed concrete, yes indeed. Uh, Anu, how about you? Well, yeah, I'm a master's student at NJIT. I'm doing my master's in engineering management. And uh, prior to that, I've had six years of work experience in sales and business development. And primarily my uh, experience has been in a manufacturing company. And the fact that uh, I was in sales for a, a long period of time, it's been close to around five years, and I wanted to explore other areas of management, like supply chain operations. And when you work with a manufacturing company, you get to know about all that. I wasn't part of it, but I like pretty much knew how my plant works and back, back in there, how to supply products and all that stuff. So that's what intrigued me about uh, engineering management. And also because it's pretty, we study a lot of subjects related to quality control, we study a lot of subjects about operations, supply chain. So that is the reason why I wanted to go ahead with engineering management as a degree. And NJID has a reputation of being one of the finest schools in the country for, uh, for, for engineering. So that is what attracted me towards engineering management and NJID. Okay, great, yep. great. Sahil, what are you working on? Well, uh, I guess I'm the youngest one here in the, in the panel. And uh, I'll tell that why I'm telling you that because uh, I have just completed my engineering uh, from Dubai. And, huh? and and yes, and that has a good uh, like background in history and a future also about civil and manufacturing. Right. Uh, because everything they have is just building, buildings and buildings. Right. Yeah. So uh, that is something which I have literally grown uh, watching. Uh, in the last, especially in my last four years, and it's something have that that's something like the, the management side of that has always attracted me, and that's why I'm doing engineering management here in NGIT. Like we all flew from the same department same. only. Oh, okay. Yeah. Same, yeah. All, all <coughs> same, uh, same major, and uh, manufacturing specifically is something like uh, since I've grown just watching that it's something like it, it fascinates me. It's a, it's, it is something like uh, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. It feels like that. Right. Dirk, what is what is it all about? Yeah. What 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 people, which all people uh, do what what stuffs and uh, basically, what I think it it makes things beautiful. Right. Uh, you were, you said best. Dubai, is that right? Yeah. right. Yeah. I and mean, they've done some wild stuff in Dubai. They have a lot of islands. The Absolutely film, right. Yeah. Wild stuff. But, yeah. And Kat, how about you? Yeah, I'm here for masters for my engineering management, and I've done my undergraduation in mechanical and automation engineering from India, and I have a one year of work experience in a manufacturing company, which produces weighing scales, and I was an assistant engineer in the quality department, and I'm looking forward for a quality specialization. That's why I choose this course. And NGIT is one of the best colleges in New Jersey. That's what I heard, and that's what I feel. <laughs> that's what it actually is. <laughs> yeah. They have good advertising. Uh, that's, that, that, that's, what I, that's what I feel. That's what I feel. And the best thing is that the campus is small, so you don't have to run for your classes. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's, like, it's like a good thing. Right. It's true. Finding the yeah. positives in the negatives. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't find any negative, right? But yeah, that's for it. Till yeah. now. That's I positive. <laughs> 
I, I have an open question for the four of you. Being that you're so dedicated to uh, manufacturing and technology and so on, and I, I would presume that you've got a lot of friends outside of school, or maybe your friends are only in school, but do you have friends outside of school? Yeah, we do yes, have friends. And, do have. and they're not, are they into manufacturing? Do they understand why you're into it? Or do they not understand it? There's, there's a reason why we are in different schools, because they don't understand that. They have their own department, their own fields, yeah. they have their own interests. And uh, yeah. It's, so yeah. you're you're a manufacturing nerd, and they don't. Yeah, care. yeah. yeah. <laughs> they'll buy the things, but wonder why it's like the way it is. Like we'll be the people who break it apart. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, you're the people who walk into buildings and and kind of look around like, mm, I wonder how they exactly. did this. Yeah. 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 It's fascinating. It it's interesting that you mentioned that the NGIT campus is relatively small. I went to the University of Wisconsin, and I had a class in the natatorium, which was swim. And then I had a class in the humanities building, and that distance is 4.2 miles. Wow. wow. You have 45 yeah. minutes to get to your next class right. in January when it's 10 below zero. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, I think you missed the class then. You missed the class. I want to apply to the college. You missed the class. You missed the class or missed the college. Katrina, um, you talked about the medical profession and you had some attraction to that and it, now it's morphed into maybe I work in a hospital, maybe I build a hospital yeah. and I almost sense maybe I build the hospitals around the world. Yes. Exactly. Is that where your fascination is? Yes, very much so and I just feel like with NGIT and just what, what I'm passionate about, it grew so much and I'm able to understand why things are the way they are. Like when I decided to make the change in my degree program, my advisor helped me get a program and I worked at Alcatraz. I did uh, construction at Alcatraz. And wow, I, exactly. I lived in so Marin Headlands on the beach and I was able to every day go to work at Alcatraz. And like right now my, my name and the work I've done is in history books. That's nice. something I can be proud of saying. Wow. And that's through NJIT. Wow, that's yeah. pretty cool. Now, yeah. It's in the history books. Do you have a little plaque at Alcatraz? <laughs> 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 yeah. Fortunately, I don't, fortunately I don't, not. I don't want to fight with Alex and Tristan. No, I don't. But, and if you could give me an idea of, you know, what are you pursuing? What are your dreams and goals out there in engineering? <sighs> Quick question, actually. Well, there, well, the the advantage with engineering management is like, well, prior to prior to uh, 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 starting my school here in the U.S., like I was into management. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, that's the beauty of management. You get to explore. You were in charge of a lot of things. You're not in charge of business. You get a, you get to keep an eye on like the manufacturing, what's happening with the with, with the supply chain. So you overall have an idea about everything. Mm -hmm. So the advantage with this course is as is a pathway to a lot of industries. I can get I can get a chance to get into operations, to supply chain, but something that is like in and around manufacturing. So that is, I'll be like, I still haven't figured out where exactly I want to be in, but yeah, I know the the options. So it could be either supply chain or it could be operations. Somewhere maybe better, like streamline operations for the organization I'll be working with. Right. Make it compatibly better, easier, and cheaper for the, uh, for, for the consumers too. So some sort of an application in that, in that segment. It's interesting because Lou and I work a lot with the Institute for Supply Management, which we discussed earlier. Right. Mm -hmm. And where we used to think about uh, supply chain was uh, uh, Iowa to Wisconsin, now the supply chain can be anywhere around the world. Around the world you touch yeah. uh, multiple suppliers around the world and you've got to look first tier, second tier, third tier for True. risk and right. it, it is a fascinating area to work in. It's a backbone of, of, of a lot of big companies, like you talk about Zara, Absolutely. you talk about Walmart, you talk about Amazon, your very basis is like Macy's. supply chain. Macy's. It is, Macy's for the matter, yeah. so a lot of yeah. companies. True. Yeah. So Hill? How about you? Where do you, where do you see yourself in five years? What do you? I hate that question first of all. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times. Yeah. You hate those questions, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> because um, I'll tell you something. I am like since my school, high school days, I've been someone who wants to do a lot of things. Yeah. Right. It's not just one, two, or three things. It's maybe more than ten. So I don't have anything like I would do after, after like after five years. I have to do this. Uh, that's why I've chosen engineering management. Like it, like Anubhav said, that it opens many uh, roads for you, mm -hmm. right. and you can choose as many roads <laughs> as many times. That's one thing I, I've seen in engineering management. Right. Like at the end of my graduation, uh, uh, graduation, I know I would have interests and experience in many fields. Right. So I can choose. Like in my next two years, I will, I will be different. 
Next five years I would be different. Next ten years I would be in a different field. I can be. That. Right. Yes. So I might not be. Flexibility. I might not be. I might not be. But I would be. I can be. And that's right. that's the beauty of uh, engine management. That's and agree. That's what I like about management in uh, general. That it's required everywhere. It need it's needed everywhere. Right. And there will always be demand there. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, you know what I like about these folks. That when I when I was your age, I didn't have a clue as to what I was going to. Do. And that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's like, good. Why is that good? Because, because uh, then you do most of. If yeah. you have a clue, you will just do the, that one thing. Then you put hand on everything. Well, I've been doing that at, at, at this at this age. I can do anything. <laughs> if I have a clue, I will just do that one thing. <laughs> Like Steve Jobs said, stay hungry, yeah. stay foolish. But stay hungry, stay foolish. And what if I get fail in that thing? Yeah, what if I fail but in that clue? But you all have a vision, and it's important to have vision. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, I have no mess. vision. And example, manufacturing talk radio. That vision came up four years ago, next month, and it was kind of late in terms of. <laughs> Never too but late. But the ideas no. are still bubbling. That's all that matters. That's right. Yeah. Well, Lou always talks about his his bubble machine, and I, I say no, it's not a bubble machine. At this point, it's foam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's so many bubbles. It's manufacturing it's foam now. Right. It needs to upgrade. No more bubbles. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're all with NJIT. Great school. Absolutely. You're obviously Absolutely. all enjoying it. Yeah, we are. So, and you've got a, a real handle on what you want to do with it, which is critically important. So, so we look forward to what you're going to be doing in five and ten years, Absolutely. Yeah. because you're the people who are going to be doing it. Yeah. We're going to be sitting in the rocking chairs going, well, at least we knew them when, <laughs> now they're famous, look what they're doing. That's true. Four memories. We shall. I'll definitely remember you for my name, at least. <laughs> you pronounce it semi appropriately. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a very <laughs> melodic name. I like yeah. it. Yeah. And, and I'd like to say that this is the most colorful interview we've done today. Yeah. Thank you so Yellow, much. black, and red. The most primary colors. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Thank you for being on with Thank us. Thank you so much for having us. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us on Manufacturing Talk Radio. You can hear our next broadcast each Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at msgtalkradio.com.